question that we're going to address. Why sometimes do blackout shades have light gaps on the side um, and how can we avoid this? So we have our awesome uh, designer, Rebecca, here with us today and she's going to tell us what's going on. So we have a couple different um, customer questions and like you said, people want to know um, why do my shades have light gaps? Um, and another question that people get that's kind of like tied in with that is when I measure the inside of my window opening, do I need to give you the overall measurement or do I need to take um, any amount off so that I can accommodate the hardware or the shade to be inside my window opening, things like that. Right, so we have a lot of people that they want to make sure that their shade fits exactly perfectly. So yeah, do you give the exact window measurement or do you make it the size that you want it to be a little bit narrower? Exactly right. So we ask that you guys give us the exact measurement of that window opening down to the nearest one eighth of an inch because it really varies by product. And so once we send these on to the manufacturer, they know exactly how much needs to be taken off for your given product so that um, it'll match up, it'll work within the, when the inside of your window opening. Um, so a standard deduction just means that the manufacturer is gonna take off a little bit from your overall width on either side of your window frame. And so you can see here, there's kind of like a gap between the fabric and the wall. Um, and in some cases, this also um, makes it so that the brackets can fit up here and everything fit solidly inside the window opening. Great, so we have a blackout roller shade here. Why sometimes do we have blackout shades that have a gap on the side and how can we fix it? That's a great question. So roller shades and not necessarily the overall width um, of the part that you're gonna install into your window opening here, but the material here. Um, and that's because you don't want the fabric to rub on the inside of the window frame. Um, so it's gonna be about three quarters of an inch on either side. So if you're really looking for total blackout with a roller shade, we highly recommend um, either mounting to the outside of your window opening so that this fabric is going to go over um, your actual window, or you can add um, draperies, which would then totally cover this and, and really achieve that full blackout look. Right. So it's kind of counterintuitive because a lot of times when you think about blackout shades, you think about like a media room or something where um, you have like roller shades that are automatic or something, but really, when it comes down to it, they're not the best option for blackout, it sounds like. Exactly. Great. Okay, so let's see exactly how that looks with draperies on top and if we can block those light gaps. going to sleep you can pull your drapes completely closed and you'll get coverage from the blackout roller shade and then the drapery and covers the that light gap and then when you're ready for the day you can just have them open and really even preserve that view once everything is rolled up great so um, are there any other products that have smaller gaps than a roller shade yeah that's a great question Abigail so we actually recommend going with the cellular shade if you really want um, an inside mount. So let's go um, see that out. over here. All right, so we can see here that the gap is much smaller on the cellular shade. Why is that? So the way the headrail is made and the way that the shade is going to install um, at the top of the window opening, it's really easy to make it so that the fabric fits pretty close to that headrail and okay. it's not going to rub as much on the inside of this window opening. It's also, it, it's not going to fray very easily. Okay. Um, so it's about a quarter of an inch on either side, which is going to achieve like 98, 99% of blackout on an inside mount. Um, you're only barely going to see the halo of light. I don't know if we want to try and turn the light off so that yeah. we can see um, what that might look like. So you can still see a little bit of light here, but for a media room or um, for most applications, this is going to be fine. But again, if you need complete and total blackout, we highly recommend adding um, blackout curtains um, to go over it to knock it out. But for the majority of our customers, this works really, really well. Great, and so when you're talking about um, complete blackout, mostly that's just for like nurses or night shift workers who need to sleep during the day when exactly. the sun is its brightest outside. When it's just like the moon outside or a street light, this is gonna take care of you and you don't need to double up. Exactly right. Yeah, highly recommend this product. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Uh, that answers a lot of questions for us. 
We want to answer your questions on a future broadcast, so comment with them on this video and let us know what you want to learn about. All right, we'll see you next week.